it's Megatron. Fogs are still trying to push in and hide. This is in the middle of it. Oh, Zuxi! He's gonna spot out two members right there. That's gonna be evil Junkie getting taken out, and Bucky will fall alongside him. Well, we're looking at Megatron great aliens here trying to secure themselves in towards the next phase, but they get clipped out instead. FFQ oh! jumpers running them out, and now FFQ secures a total of three points, but the the fight is still not over yet. Look at NFT that's struggling right outside. And Hein gets caught out instead. It's going to be NFT Esports here having Maskaga right next to Bigatron Esports. That circle is causing so much mayhem. The rotation is coming in for all of the teams. And Mega Conquer is going up against Purple Moon. Both tie teams going head to head. That's going to be a great coming out from Stones. And now we, he might just find the claim. Oh. That's now we going out. That was a huge snake coming out of them. And now Mask Guy going in for the fight. Close for combat action coming from the side of NFT. And Michael Boy trying to pop one nade up. Then Mask Guy forced to flush over in the back. Cole is just waiting for him to possibly go in for the pickup. But Suxy's hopping right through. Oh, he gets what is that guy in. What in the world is going on? But he Michael Boy! One going in. And Michael Boy going in for the rectus lead. He breaks oh. the level. run red aliens. Falls down to the ground on ninth place. NFT with the defense in the hunt as well. We have absolutely no idea what bigger trouble doing there. They crawled into the house. They got taken out. Wow. I did not expect Zuxi to hop right through. And now NFT Esports ripping out the rewards. And the next one to fall will be FFQ. D2 is getting straight out by Pond as well. He's going to secure that one kill in the back. Yeah, Pawn's coming in from afar, but he's got Ryu pushing in from behind him. Drone with the drop shot as well. He's gonna get a headshot in, but here comes the reply coming out from Pawn's D2E on the ground, and the circle is closing in. We got Boyk coming in, falling in out to the blue, but Online 24 still trying to spray onto Ryu, and Warang is the only remembering member of Ryu. In the blink of an eye, we see so many squads falter. Now it's our top six. Ryu only down to one man. It's all up to Drone to actually pull this off. It's gonna be RRQ Atina taking out. Omega Conqueror is one member out, and it's all up to Rob Fiat to actually go in for the pickup there. And there goes Loki and GE trying to find Maskaga. Maskaga does not have much choice but to tank out that circle. They managed to beat Bigatron as they were pushing into the hub, but can Maskaga do these by himself? We are down to our final five teams, stand still alive, oh. and here comes Rob Fiat with the oh. grenade. That's gonna remove you! That grenade! That was a sick name. They already knew that they're hiding right behind it. And now here comes the threat down. And Maskaga, the next one to fall. Here comes a top four. We still have Mega Congress here. Tagging up on towards Ryu. And Drone is going to be the last one standing for the side of Ryu. Now in the top three, we have Vietnam as well as Thailand here to do it all out. We spoke about how good Mega Conquerors are when it comes down to UDDs. And time and time again, we have seen the grenade plays and they removed GE off the map. We are down to our final two teams, both. So Ernie can only rely on his firepower. He is being flushed out, so he does not want to give this point away. He's just gonna wait till the zone takes him off. And this will be the very first round being secured by Mega Conquerors. Absolutely fantastic and clinical finish coming in from the tie side. And 